So I'm out here in the woods, um, up the mountain from where we're staying right now in uh, southeast Kentucky. And I've been making walking trails, hiking trails all through the woods here. There's one particular plant that has been very troublesome to me, to say the least. It's very invasive in this area, and I want to talk to you about it a little bit today. I always knew it was medicinal, uh, but I've never used it until today. I will begin using it after some research that I've just done. And I want to introduce you to this plant. And one of the things that is very interesting to me, and I've thought about this before, with other plants that grow prolifically in a certain area, I think God did that for a reason. You know, if you think about how toxic the world is today, a lot of people have hormones that are just out of whack. And men are having prostate issues. Women are having estrogen dominance, which, you know, is leading to things like breast cancers. Then the, the prostate issues, you know, are leading to problems with urinary urgency, urinary frequency, nocturia, having to get up at night and go to the bathroom. Well, what is causing a lot of these things is our hormones are out of whack. And so... I got to researching on this one particular plant, and it's all around me right now, and I'll show it to you in just a minute, um, is God put in the root of this plant something that would help both men and women with hormone problems. But that's not all that this plant is good for. Um, the root of this plant is typically what's used medicinally. You can also use the leaves from what I understand. I've, I've not done that. But uh, the root... And I'm going to dig up some today. We're going to dig some up together. And I'm going to take it back and I'm going to use it. Um, I have several people that I am uh, helping with different health issues and stuff. And I'm going to encourage them to consider using this plant because of the properties that research has shown it to have. And I'll put a link in the description below for uh, where I got my research from. But this plant root contains testosterone, progesterone, it's anti-inflammatory, it helps to uh, raise the temperature like so it'd be really good like if you're giving a fever treatment or something you can give a decoction or a tea made from this root and it will help to increase the internal temperature, it helps to increase urine flow, it's just amazing the beneficial properties of this plant. So what plant am I talking about? Let me show you. Can you see that mean looking green vine right there with all the thorns all over it? That's what I'm talking about. This is called Sarsaparilla. Some people know it as Smilax. And it's everywhere out here. And as I was out here cutting trails and, and making a way for us to hike in the woods without getting tangled up in these things I said Lord you know there's got to be a reason these things are everywhere and if I pan the camera all around me you can see I am completely surrounded by this stuff it's everywhere and so I asked the Lord why and I got to thinking about it and as I shared with you so many people are sick so many people have inflammation. So many people's hormones are all out of whack. The stuff, the root is also good for gas in the stomach. You know, it helps to get it out one way or the other, north or south. So let's dig up some of the root of this sarsaparilla, which I'm prepared for it not to be an easy task. And let's see what it looks like. So. I'm going to get down so far, and then I'm going to pull out a digging knife. I am correct. It's, it's quite a tenacious root. Some people call this wait a minute vine because you think you're going to walk through it and those thorns grab your clothes. And, wait a minute channel I'm just gonna make me a quick digging stick so I can uh, dig this stuff up without hurting my 
knife in any way. I just couldn't bring myself to stick a sharp knife in the soil. I'm making some headway. It's definitely a tenacious plant. The root is as tenacious as the top. And I tell you, if a plant is that tenacious, it's got life in it. So I've been pestering this hole here for about, I don't know, less than 10 minutes, maybe five, seven minutes. And this is, this is all I got here of the uh, Smilax or Sarsaparilla with my digging stick. And that's a good thing to remember if you're ever out and you need to dig up roots and stuff like that. Just make you a digging stick. You just kind of point the end and chamfer the edges a little bit so that it doesn't split out. It works pretty good, but of course a flat shovel is better. And the next time I get serious about harvesting this, which will be soon, I shall have a shovel and I may have a husband. <laughs> He's a little bit stronger than me, a lot stronger than me. So at any rate, I hope that this has encouraged you again to get out and, and learn. You know, I believe that God has put what we need for our circumstances all around us. And so um, I encourage you to, to study about this plan. I'll put more information about it in the link below with references and stuff. Now this time of the year, you'll see these little bluish berries on the Smilax vine, Sarsaparilla. That's one key identifying feature for this time of year. Um, I'll try to find a picture online of the leaves so you can see what the leaves look like and I'm handling it very carefully because it is loaded with thorns and especially the thicker older vines this one here you can kind of see can you see that thorn those hurt very very painful <laughs> one more thing I wanted to show you while I'm up here on the mountain is uh, I have an iPhone an older iPhone and um, there's an app called picture this and I have found it to be very accurate it's not free but let's see what it says this plant is we take a picture and then we give it a minute and Mayflower Arbutus so and then you can scroll down and it'll show you other pictures it looks I've found it accurate I've, I've checked it on several things and uh, found it to be very accurate and then you can scroll down and it will answer different questions about that plant it'll give a description characteristics and it goes on and on and on just a very um, very nice app especially if you're just just learning I think I paid $15 for a year which for me as much as I'm out here is very very worth it I don't know if they have similar apps for Android but uh, if you have iPhone this is a really good way to learn and so while we're out here learning about Smilex let's see how accurate this app is for identifying Smilax or Sarsaparilla. Let's see what it says. Round leaf green briar, pickle, prickly ivy, Smilax. So there's a lot of different names for it. Oh, 